Massey, great performance last time out. Uh, arguably one of the best performances I've I've been ringside to watch, mate. Yeah. Well, box well, mate. I was one hundred percent. I never am very critical on I, so I was happy up. So I leave it there. Well, I think, all oh, right, you know, the weight wasn't uh, the right weight for you, but that was what, what made us all happy. You were in there with a naturally bigger guy, and you bullied him. You bullied him, and you hurt him, and, and in control of every single second of every round. Yeah, I just had a different mindset. Because, um, I don't know, just had a different mindset going into the fight. Just for, well, I've just been watching you on the pads, mate, and, and you, don't, you just seem to be... You seem to have your mojo back again, mate. Yeah, but, you know... That fight was everything because I wasn't in a good place at the time, I wasn't up for the fight when I got Jamie coming, I couldn't get out for it. Yeah. Really couldn't. I, was, I wasn't struggling with tickets, but I thought I'd have done more. So I was having that pressure. I'd done enough, but I had the pressure, I thought I would have done a lot more. Yeah. And they had Jamie Quinn to, to box, and I couldn't get up for it. When the opponent got changed, I got, enjoyed it. I didn't know it until I got in there. Even before the fight, I was just like, you know, it's just a fight. Mm -hmm. Just get it done, get a W, and go for the future. I need that win anyway, you know, regardless. But when I, I got in there, I really enjoyed it. and it, it looked like you were enjoying it, and the crowd enjoyed it, mate. And it's, the commentators enjoyed it's it. It's followed on through camp now, because normally I balloon up, and um, I haven't. Do you know what I mean? So I'm in here now, and I'm, I'm normally unfit by now. It's been a few weeks, and I'm not. I've been in. I was in I was in the week after, which was probably a bit too soon. I was in on the Monday. Mm -hmm. And then on the Thursday, I just hit a brick wall. So I had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. I've been back in since. That's what I need, because it's too hard to get fit. I mean, you go out home and you eat pizzas and. Just, yeah. Takeaways and chocolate, and you well, know. this is hopefully this, this is that fight to, to keep your focus well, this because is obviously you're now. probably not going to be out now until the end of February, beginning of uh, yeah. beginning of March. So that's a long break for a boxer, isn't it? Yeah, but this it's a few Especially weeks really. Christmas in between. Box on the 14th of December. Um, I'll be back in the gym on the 3rd, 4th of January, whatever the month, whenever the Monday falls. Yeah. I'll be back in, so I'll have what two, three weeks off. Do we know what you're doing on this fight? It's just a little six rounds. I did, I did ask for an eight, but he said it's a big show and tickets depending, yeah. which is hard to sell tickets near Christmas, isn't it? Yeah. I found that like so, um, just a six rounder. See what we get and um, get the weight down a little bit, get under 10 stone for this one. Mm -hmm. And hopefully 2020 is the year we'll see you challenging for titles again? Hopefully, mate. Minor titles, major titles, you know, anything, even if I box for a minor title. Just as a stepping stone, if I'm going to box a six rounder now, mm -hmm. why not box for an area title in yeah. the meantime? And then, you know, if Brogan wants to give it up or he wants to defend well, he, it. I've just done an interview with Steve and he feels he wants to give it up and try and go for something bigger, so maybe that does come like, I'm not, listen, I've not won nothing yet, so I'm happy to box for Central Area in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And listen, I would love to box for something and win it, you know, it's just something to start and it gives you more confidence. So it'd be fair to say you've got your mojo back, mate? Yeah, I've got my mojo back. I'm looking at titles this year, even if it's an area title to put me onto something else, get your confidence from that. I just want something this year, yeah. definitely. Well, after that performance, like I say, I, I certainly believe at lightweight, there's, yeah. there's titles out there for you, mate. Two losses out for the, the title fights. I've been by... I know. So I'm hoping now, margins. with my mojo back and doing everything better, do you feel it? Do you feel better than you did for those campaigns? Yeah, because I went straight into a camp off. God knows what weight it was. So now I'm boxing and, and, and I'm doing more outside the gym. I'm living better. So I've got a mountain to climb when I go in. This was great just watching you. And it's just them little it. tiny margins where I got yeah. beat. The way I'm living now, that might make. Cause the, the, I've got the that ability. Might make a difference. Yeah, like the first five rounds against Roy Barrett, when I lost a round, then it just faded off a bit. Mm -hmm. So if you can do that for ten or twelve. But the way I'm going now, I'm going to get more and more out myself, so hopefully you'll see a better me this year. So what's your space, then? What's your space? And hopefully I'll be chatting to you with win number 14 yeah. on, on the 14th. You keep telling me my record, I don't even know. <laughs> well, I think that was win number 13, wasn't it, last time? Maybe, yeah. Yeah? I should have got a lot more by now. <laughs> stay active now, this is it. Back in the gym straight away. I've missed so many fights, it's not ready. No, no, you look really sharp, mm -hmm. mate. And, I've got uh, four weeks now. You just seem to be. You seem to be enjoying it in here, and that's what I think is going to bring out the best in you, mate. When you enjoy something. It's been good the last couple of weeks as well, because the gym not as busy now, because Faz, is, Faz and Jed have tapered down. Yeah. If Faz was in today, but obviously there's only been three of us in today. Normally there's like six of us, so the last couple of weeks we've been getting a bit more time, and it's just come at the perfect time, just before this fight, it's just coming together. All right, well, I'll see you on the 14th, mate. Like I say, hopefully we'll be chatting to you and you'll have win number 14. Yeah, man. Looking forward to a bright 2020, mate. That's it, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers on, mate. Bye. Yeah. Thank you.